Hello, my name is Chris Irwin with Foresight IT Solutions, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Azure Self-Service Password Reset. Uh, first, we're going to go through the registration process, what that experience looks like, and then we'll actually do a password reset. So, if your IT department has set up um, a required registration, the first time you try and access an Azure service, whether that be Office 365 or the My Apps portal, you're going to be prompted uh, to log in and during that process, you'll be prompted to sign up for self-service password reset. So we're going to take a look at that real quick, and then I'm also going to show you the link on how to get to that same page. So if I go to office.foresightit.com, I'm going to redirect it to my ADFS page here. Now my test user, James Jones, put in my password. And I'm going to be taken to the Microsoft page, and you can see, okay, it's requiring me to add in additional information so that I can recover my account, and it's asking me to hit next. Now, we're going to jump over to another tab here, and I'm going to go to aka.ms forward slash SSPR setup. And that is going to take me, that's the manual link to get me to the same location. So after the fact, if I want to register for self-service password reset, or if I don't have, uh, my IT department hasn't required that I log in and register, uh, you can use this URL. And this is the page you're going to get taken to. Um, we see it's branded up here in the corner with my logo. It's got my name on it. And then I'm going to be presented with the options that, that my department has enabled for our self-service password reset. In my particular instance, uh, it's only requiring me to set up one of these options. Uh, maybe a little different for you guys. You're also going to have up to four different options down here. In my case, I've got three. I've got an authentication phone, I've got an authentication email, and I've got security questions. Uh, there could also be a office phone in here, um, but that will vary on deployment to deployment. Uh, to make this easy, I'm just going to start with the uh, phone, and we'll go through and set that up real quick. Pick the country you're in, provide a phone number. Then I have the option to either have it text me or call me. I'm going to go ahead and have it text me. Um, what that's going to do on the back end, it's, it's initiating the Azure multi-factor authentication services, and it's going to send me a text message to the cell phone that I entered. Uh, I'll be able to jump in on my phone. I've already gotten the text message. Hold on one second while I pull it up. And I'll have an authentication code that I can put in here and verify. Assuming that I type correctly. That'll be all it takes. Now my phone's registered. Very, very straightforward process. Um, we'll go through and look at the security questions. The, the email functionality is exactly the same as the phone. You'll provide an email. It's going to send you a, a one-time password. You re-enter it, and it gets registered. Um, we'll look at the questions real quick. I just have a couple of basic questions in here. Um, what city was your first job? Charlotte. Uh huh. Bill. So these questions will vary depending on uh, your implementation and as well as the options. So in this particular case, they're requiring me to complete three questions, and they need to be at least three characters long. You may have a pool of 20 questions in here, and you have to fill out five of them. Um, that will be dependent upon uh, your deployment. But as simple as filling them out, following the instructions here, I hit save, and it's going to commit, them, commit those and, and bind them to my account, and that's it. At that point, I have registered for self-service password reset. Um, now I have the ability to go ahead and hit finish here, and I'll be registered for the service. Um, this takes me into the My Apps portal, you can see here. So now I want to reset my password. I've, I've forgotten what it is, whatever the case is. I can open up any browser. Uh, whether that be from a mobile device, from your, your corporate issued laptop, from your home computer, doesn't matter. Um, open up tab, and I'm going to go to aka.ms forward slash SSPR, so self service password reset. It's going to take me to the Microsoft page here. Uh, I'm going to enter in my ID that I want to reset my password for. And then 
this is called a CAPTCHA. I'm going to enter in the CAPTCHA here. So it's just making sure I'm not a robot here. Assuming I type this correctly, I'll hit next. And I didn't type it correctly. Hold on. NVMVQ6. There we go. Then you'll be presented with two options. Um, could be one option. Again, it, it really depends on how they configure it. The first one is, I forgot my password. Super simple, right? That's the one we're going to utilize today, um, but I'm going to explain the other one since I have it turned on. So this top one resets your password for you in your, in your on-premise Active Directory. This is an account you typically log into your workstation with. Uh, it also unlocks your account if it's locked. The second option here is, yeah, I know my password, but I can't get in. Maybe you typed your password wrong two or three times and, and you got locked out. The second option will allow you to unlock your account without having to reset your password. Um, but we're going to go with I forgot my password here. I hit next. We notice, hey, I've got a verification step. This is the information that I put in earlier. Uh, you know, I'm going to do the text. It gives me the last two digits of the phone number so I know at least I have an idea of which phone it is. If someone manages to get in here um, using your ID, they're not going to have the exact phone number, right? So you've got to confirm that as long as it matches up with the one we see. Uh, it's going to go ahead and fire off a text message to my phone, and I'll be allowed to enter in the verification code. Um, very important concept. I know it's an extra step, but the reason we do this is for security so that not just anyone can come in and reset your password. That'd be a bad thing. So assuming those verification codes match, I'll be presented with an option to reset my password. Um, this does follow your, your IT enforced password policies, so if they've got some requirements on that, you'll have to make sure that you follow those. So put my password in twice, confirm that it's the same, I hit finish. Assuming it meets requirements, that's it. Resets my password. Now I'll be able to log in utilizing that new password to all of my IT level resources. So very simple process uh, after you're registered, which is which is fairly easy. Very, very easy for you to go through and reset your password and save yourself a help desk phone call. So I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, my name is Chris Irwin, and uh, you guys have a great day.